In this video, I want to show you the power of solid color layers over here in Photoshop. Before we get started, however, let's just check, check out what I have constructed. I have a single layer in my Photoshop document that has this really cool little metal uh, texture pattern in the background. And what I want to do here is that I want to add a little bit more color. I want to add some new, some new colors into the scene. When we're adding solid colors, uh, what we're going to add an entire new layer, and this layer is going to be completely disconnected and disassociated with this metal texture. This is a little, little bit different than using the paint bucket tool. So let's go grab the paint bucket tool. It's over here in our toolbar, keyboard shortcut G. And if I was to simply just select a couple pixels here, you can see that I've painted this really weird, bright, kind of uh, purpley pink all over on top of my metal my metal layer. Okay, let's undo that because we don't want that. And uh, let's explore the solid color. So the, the paint bucket is going to paint uh, an existing layer. The solid color layer is going to create an entirely separate new layer. To create the solid color layer, you go all the way down to the bottom of your layers palette, and what we're looking for is this little circle, this kind of yin-yang, black and white circle little guy. And if we click on it, you're going to get a popover menu, and I apologize, mine's getting cut off or, uh, cut off the screen because I'm on a reduced uh, screen size here, but it's going to be at the top of the list, and it's called Solid Color. So again, I apologize for it being cut off the screen, but uh, just trust me, it's at, it's at the top of the list that pops up, and it's called Solid Color. When you click on it, this is what you're going to get. Now, let's look at the moving parts of this real fast. First and foremost, ignore this just for the time being and focus back over here on your Layers palette. Two new things have popped up on their own layer. First and foremost, this is the icon for a solid color layer. With this icon, we get to select a color. And now, and, uh, the great thing about this is that we get to change this color whenever we want. So right now, it's flooding my entire layer with green, and I'll hit OK. But check it out. This is, uh, this is editable still. I can just double click on this, and I get that same popover. So maybe I want red and it updates on the fly. In addition, it also is generated with a layer mask, and this truly is the where the power of solid colors really comes into play, because now we can interactively select where we want this solid color to appear on our image, okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about. I am going to select my image, and I'm simply going to fill that, that layer with black. So basically, we're turning that layer off. Now, if you want some additional love and some some additional knowledge on how layer masks work, go check out my video on layer masks. I talk in detail about this process. So I have my layer mask flooded with black, so it's turned off that red. But check it out. If I go grab like a brush, for example, let's just fire off the brush tool. And uh, I want to pick just a kind of a grungy brush, maybe uh, yeah, maybe something a little bit bigger. Let's pick. Ooh, 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 that one's good. I want to make that. Yeah, I think that's going to do. Okay, cool. So I have the layer mask selected, and I want to change my color to white and check it out. Wherever I paint, I'm going to see red, okay? Where this really becomes powerful is that we've effectively have masked out a solid color, right? But unlike the paint tool, I can go back in and change this color interactively, right? I can go back in, I can say, you know what, I want this to be green and everything updates on the fly. It gives us an extraordinarily high degree of control over our image and allows us to tweak the colors without having to go back in and redo any of our work. We're using a mask to manipulate where this solid, this solid color is applied to our screen and then we can change the color of it just on the fly. And this is really the coolest thing for me is being able to change colors without having to go back in and repaint everything because our layer mask is responsible for determining where on my Photoshop document all of my paint is going to show up. So solid color layers, they are brilliant. I love them. Use them as part of your texturing pipeline. I think you're going to find that the accuracy of your colors is going to go up and you definitely have more control with solid color layers than you do with the paint bucket or even the traditional painting tools here in Photoshop.